Peace, everybody. Thomas Amal with another, 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 another special edition of Conversation Corner. This is part three of our salesperson's um, conversation that we've been having um, based off of some information and some, uh, a long thing that Zig Ziglar did, Secrets of, uh, the, uh, of Closing on a Sale. And I've just gone through all of this stuff and I've been studying it left and right. And I thought it would be really cool to just let you know, man, what, what I'm seeing. And, and maybe you can put this into your life, you know, if you're trying to get on, with, get with somebody or, you know, a job or, you know, if you're a salesperson or whatever that you're trying to sell, you can take heed to some of the information that I'm giving and that I'm finding out and learning and I'm ingraining them into my work world and into my life. You know, I, at one point I, I used to sell. I sold a lot, you know, and, and matter of fact, like I told, I've said previously, I believe that everything you do has some kind of sale context to it. Um, at one point before I, a while I was in the selling mode as far as my place of employment in the corporate world, I also sold bootleg t-shirts and music. So you can imagine at times, you know, and, and this was so many years ago. And plus, I, I wasn't pulling any real money out of it. You know, but I had a good time out of it. I, I had a good time. And, it, you know, it paid a bill here and there. You know, but it was just the point you met so many people. But, you know, today I'm going to talk about something that I think you really need to, we all need to recognize. And, you know, here's a statement. Just this one statement right here. A product is worth what it can do for you. Think of it. That's the prospect saying. This is the prospect talking. It doesn't matter what the salesperson says the product is valued at. The product is worth what it can do for you. Okay? So it's up to us as salespersons to be able to relay that message using emotion, using facts, to be able to relay it to that particular prospect so they'll understand the value and the worth and the pricing that we give, you know, in, in the next video or one of the next videos, I'll talk more in depth about the cost versus price, you know, um, uh, uh, sales clothes that he mentioned, which I thought was really good also. But we have to be able to let them know what we're saying, it's worth it. And so he has what's called a quality clothes. And, and I, I, I absolutely love it, you know, because when you're talking into people and, and you're in a sales mode and you're going and you're going and you're jiving. And I mean, you're just driving it home and the people think you're just coming at them with any old thing. And they'll say something like, you know, no, or I don't like the price or, you know, whatever the quality. How do I know the quality is as good? It could be cheap. Well, this is how he explained it you know he was like you know what the company decided a while ago that it would be easier just to explain the price one time just one time in comparison to explaining or defending or apologizing for the quality forever and aren't you glad i'm pretty sure you're glad that we made that decision aren't you, you know right because now you can see we did the right thing, right? Or how about, you know, the you know the product is the answer that you're looking for. The product that we're talking about right now is the answer to your problem. Isn't that what you want? Is the answer to your problem? So he explains that, and I hope you recognize that. Uh, um, the inflections of my voice, because that's one of the things he pushes, you know, just the normalcy in the conversation. But it's that bit of concern. But at the same time, the shaking of the head, the saying, but this is what you want. Isn't this solving your problem? We're coming to the table with something of quality that's solving your problem. So what's the so why haven't you bought it? But this is what you want, right? So when you have that ability um, to talk like that and to get into a conversation and a sales process with a person, sooner or later they'll start to come. So you have to remember that selling is a transfer, transference of emotion. 
really key quality clothes go back over it listen to it listen to it listen to it this is what you want right because I'm coming to you with the answer to your problem Thomas Samal conversation corner hit me up man I'm waiting for your call even though I'm getting so many others and I'm getting so many hits of you know of uh, thank you I want more I want more. I want to make sure that everything that I'm doing is hitting home and that you can understand it and that you feel me. Hit me up, thomasamall.com. You can always uh, click the link below, which I really would uh, like you to do so you can join on and you can see some more of the uh, benefits that we have of being together. Remember, as I always say, be smart. Think first. Think first. Be smart. Talk to you soon.